What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2, last time we left off. I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Oh yeah. Gav? I was, I was on this road whenever I heard that guy uh, yap, and I, I, I thought I wanted to, you know, start up the episode whenever I interact with him and see, see if we could find this Gavin guy. But uh, last time we left off, we were out hunting, and how's about we actually start doing some more of the, the main story line quests? Stuff, mission, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into the game and see what this guy's uh, talking about. See if we can help him out. Hey there, feller! I've lost my friend! Somebody help me, please! I literally can't tell. Oh, there we go. Morning, dear. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. <laughs> I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. But English bloke. Lovely fella. He, he went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. Oh. Okay. I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna. That's uh. That's too bad. I like how this guy's name is literally just Gavin's friend. Gavin! <laughs> he looks so weird. Gavin. Hello, Gavin's friend. You're not going to tell me your name or anything like that. I'm not going to do a name reveal. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess if we can randomly come across some guy named Gavin, I guess. Uh, I am so worried. Jeez, I can literally hear that guy from like tens of feet away. Gav! Let me guess, he's like nearby, isn't he? Hold on, I, well, I kind of want to do an eagle eye thing. Is he like right here? Where are you? Jeez, that guy just does not shut up, does he? Strangers. Hi there, folks. And a very good morning to you. Yep. Hello there. Everything okay? Oh. All right, well, good luck to you. Bye now. I thought I could ask those guys about uh, Gavin. Or, yeah, Gavin. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Gavin's friend, but no, that's literally his name, Gavin. <laughs> and the guy's name is Gavin's friend. Anyways, yeah, I guess he's going to be yelling uh, around here in roads for billions of years. Jeez. Jeez. Running into my way right there. Anyways, I have a waypoint right now set to the, uh, to the Grays farm because uh, apparently there's something going on over there about racehorses and stuff. I think John Marston's over there. Checking out some sort of racehorse meme, so I don't know. Maybe we're going to get some, like horses. We're going to steal and try and get some money out of them, because I guess similar to what we did with the sheep over in Valentine. And hopefully, it's not going to end up the same way, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, over here in Cali Hall, let's just go on over here to the stables where that one guy was, the Romeo and Juliet sort of meme that was happening. Anyways, I guess uh, maybe maybe John's going to meet me here in the front because this is where the waypoint is. Horse flesh for dinner. Okay, looks like we're eating Can horse. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Yep. I'm not even going to use that waypoint marker. I'm just going to go straight there. Okay, I guess I have to use it. Okay, whatever. Hey there, feller. Oh, oh, jeez, I almost just ran into him. I almost just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back here. Let's see what we have to do over here. Uh, horse flesh for dinner, or whatever it's called. So I guess we're eating horses, eating race horses. I don't know. Maybe it's a delicacy or something. I don't know. Here they are, right here. Let's see what they're talking about. Helping everybody and everywhere. There's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. Nice. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Moonshiners! Slave fuckers! Ooh. What you gotta do is look at them! How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. Nice. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. 
fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Hmm. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously with that top at anymore, sheesh. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Oh yeah, thorough well, well I was kind of researching horses to, about this like Whoa. Arabian horse thing. Yeah, thoroughbreds are one of the top tier horses out there as well. Alongside that Nakota or Nakata or whatever that was. I think that I think my Nakota type race or whatever it was. I think that's like a number three or something like that. And then I think Thoroughbred is number two. And then I think What is the old fool? Th you should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Yep, and he said fifty cents on the dollar, so. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Yep. Don't run into... Oh, okay, we didn't run into it. <laughs> Alright, well, we've only ever been here, like, once before. Well, twice. One time we snuck in. The other time we did the whole moonshine thing with Hosea. The heckin' act that we put on. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Yep. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but... Perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Sounds good to me. Someone will come see ya. Mr. Braithwaite. I thought it was a Mrs. Braithwaite. Or Miss. Calma, boy. Alright, let's go. Yep, let's go. Come on, Vominos. But yeah, you guys might have noticed I have like a new holster, I have a new uh, bandolier as well. I'm able to hold more bullets and stuff like that. And uh, I think my guns take less damage or don't need to be cleaned as often or something like that because of the holster. So I I, I basically went to the gunsmith in front of you. Go on. And bought some uh, some stuff. So I I, I kind of drained a decent amount of my money as well as bought more ammo. That's it. Ah, sh oh jeez. Oh jeez. We don't have a signal. <laughs> Oh, we're back. We're back, you guys. We're back. <laughs> Jeez. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Thankfully, that hasn't happened very often in this series. I think only once before. Alright. Yeah. Let's go buy some horses, right? I wonder how we're going to do this. We're, we're doing it in, like, plain sight. So, kind of interested in how we're going to end up stealing these horses. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. Yeah, this is like a huge area over here that they all own. All right, let's hitch up here. Here we are. Hitch up the horses. Yep. Yep. There you go. You worked hard, girl. Let me do the talking. Approach the stable hand. Usually Jose is the one to do the talking, but I guess I'm taking after him a bit. Hey there, feller. I'm looking to buy some horses. $5,000 horses. Hello there. Whipper here. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you Scarface and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. 
These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Oh, here we go. Well, this here's Cerberus. <laughs> yep, that's how we're doing it, huh? Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't Bandana's on, he said. Need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. All right, let's get the white one. Just looks, looks just like mine. I wonder if it is one of mine. I wonder if these are... No, he said they're thoroughbreds. Boy. Come on. Good boy. Right, let's get him. Let's get him. Come on, how do I... Easy now. Man, I'm trying to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Calm it down. You're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. I don't know why I can't lead this one. When the, oh, I have to, yeah, I do have to calm it first, don't I? Yeah. Easy, easy. And now I should be able to lead it, all right? No, I still have to call it. Oh, easy. Take easy there. Easy, come on, Rabin. I've got, I've got one of your friends. Oh my gosh, I still have to. Easy now. I want, I probably have to get in front of it to lead it then, huh? Easy there, now. Man, I have to keep on calling it. I'm, I'm just saying easy. I need to like pat it and stuff. Come on, come on. I'm like, this is how we tamed our Arabian, right? I'm like, we have another one of you out there. Here we go. Pat it, pat it, pat it. There you go, there you go. Easy now. Easy, easy. There we know how we can lead it. Golly. All right. This way. Come on. Yep, that one that, that one looks just like our Arabian. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Uh-oh, something's... What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Uh-oh. Getting caught, let's go. Go, get out of here! I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! Got him! There's some more folk up there. Let's get that one. There's one in the background all the way back there. That's way too far, though. So let's take care of that guy. Got him. Escort Javier and... The horses. I'm not seeing any... Oh, here we go. There we go. Getting that guy. Another one on the top. I'm about to run into the wall! Get it! Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, yeah, I hit the wall. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that happened. Sheesh. There we go. Wait, hold on. Wait, go oh my god. I thought I had my dual wieldings out. Let's get the dual wieldings. Oh, sheesh. I'm running into stuff. I'm running into stuff. Sheesh. <laughs> I don't know why I had my uh, repeater out or whatever that was. Let's take care of these guys. There we go. Got him. The one off to the left. Let's take care of him. He's in the fields. Got him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Fantastic hit right there. Get him by the wagon. Got him. A couple of them by the way. Oh, sheesh. Couldn't get that guy. I have no dead eye. I need, need to turn around. Get the guys behind us. There we go. Got that one. Another one behind us. Don't hit the horse. They blocked our way out. Oh my. We we'll have to go through the fields. All right. Okay, we still have people behind us. I need to get some more dead eye. If I want to use it. There's a gap in the fence. Oh, jeez. Trying to follow these guys <laughs> and shoot at the same time. Not really doing too good of a job. All right. Okay, we're going to need to take some stuff. There we go. Let's get some dead eyes so we can actually use it. There we go. Okay, they're going between the trees and stuff. Not really doing the best of job right now. Although using a repeater isn't really that bad. I <laughs> might as well switch back to it, I suppose. I think we lost him. Thing was, I, I, I was using it, shooting as if I had my dual wielding out. So I was kind of surprised we only had the repeater. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think we're away just yet. I don't think we're home free yet. Oh, yeah, let's get these full. Oh, jeez, I accidentally just marked his horse, but whatever. Oh, man. That guy is down. Another one back there. Let's see if I can get it without having to dead eye it. Oh, there we go. Got him. Nice. And the one ahead of us. You see any more of them? No. Don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Clemens Cove. <laughs> Clemens Cove is probably too close to Clemens Point, which is our camp. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Oh, that one's freaking out. Probably have to do something about him. Shit! One of the stallions is. Oh, jeez. Moose! Keep going! I'll get him! Lasso the stallion. I knew something like that would happen. Hold on. Come here. There we go. We got him. We got him. After last night, we an animal or person. You can release that, and the rope will remain attached to him. Yes, that's good. All right, let's go. Let's meet up with the folks up there with all the other ones. Come here. Hey, Morgan. Over here. You got him. Well done. 
Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Hey, All right, let's go. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> nice. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Hmm, I see. Easy. Hopefully we're not getting ripped. Or else they're going to rip, if you know what I mean. Approach the wrestler. Do you want to release the horse behind me, or... I guess I... I guess I am. Alright. Hey there, fellers! Who are you? What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. Whoa. John. Arthur. Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> I like Cubanos. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Sheesh. 650. That is terrible. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Yep. Total take 700, gang share 350, and of course I get a third of that, 16, 116, something like that. Hey, I got silver. What I, what, what I missed? Probably headshots or, uh, yeah, yeah, five edge. I probably got to get better. Probably could have got better. But honestly, it's been like uh, two weeks since I've played, so hey, getting silver on the first one, that's not too bad. What, who, Abigail, or who is that? Someone yelled at my name. Is that you? Molly? Hell of a morning. Always good to see you. Top of the morning to you, that is. Uh, someone said Art. I don't, I don't think it was her. I think whoever that is a little bit too far away. It might have been her then. All right, whatever. Anyways, we do have a mission here for Dutch. Uh, we could just look at the map, and it kind of gives us a preview of what each uh, little thing is. If we go to the Dutch Vanderland, Dutch asked you to find out more about the bounty hunters that Trelawney mentioned. I don't even remember that, but... Oh yeah, he mentioned it after he got freed here in Rhodes. Remember, we were uh, playing goody-goody with the sheriff and got uh, Trelawney. He was in that little, uh, like, police wagon or whatever, in the jail wagon. That guy's T-posing in that picture. <laughs> Lenny uh, needs to speak to you. I don't know what it's about, but uh, preaching forgiveness as he went. I don't know what that's about, but it <laughs> looks like someone T-posing in that picture. We have another one over here with Hosea at the Braithwaite Manor. They're probably not going to like us over there, but then again, we had bandanas on. They probably didn't get a good look at us. Dutch told you to meet up, meet up with Hosea and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they ingratiate themselves. Yeah. I wonder if we could have done that and then the, uh, the the John Marston horse stealing mission. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, wait. What, what's that up there? Hold on. Ooh, horse fence. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I was about to, I, I, after that little uh, little thing, I was like, I wonder if we could have gone to the Emerald Ranch over here and gone to the wagon fence and probably got some more money, but I guess that's one way of introducing us to the horse fence over here if we want to sell some horses and stuff. Maybe that's what you guys were talking about when you are saying, hey, if you want to get good money, just sell horses. Maybe instead of uh, going to like a stable or something like that, because of course, 
Remember, uh, stables, they give you less money because you don't have papers. Maybe going to a, uh, a horse fence will get more money. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Man, everyone's saying my name. Okay, whatever, Dutch. Which one was this? Hold on. Oh yeah, the Dutch mountain, the, the trolley said something about mountain. Let's do this one for Dutch. It's been a little while. Hey, Dutch. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Duh. Okay. All right. Once again, he's he's tag teaming me with Charles. Uh, so I'm trying to rem remember the name. Uh, Tilly, I think her name was. She, I think she was the one that was saying my name just moments ago. But I think because we just started a mission, we can't uh, talk to her now. Hey, Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Yep. What in the world? Who is that? In the, oh, that's Bill Williams. She's just waking up or something. Gee. All right, let's get on our horse here. Yep. Man, my stallion, my, my new La Ferrari over here looking fantastic. Hello, Hello there, Whipper here. Where's, uh. Where in the world? Where's his. Oh, there he is right there. He's getting on his horse. All right, let's ride, ride to Trelawney's location. And there's some. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Charles there. I guess he's following me. Okay, whatever. All right, let's go. Yep. I'm going to need to get my dead eye core up, though, if I want to use it more. So let's, uh, let's just eat something. So cooked beef. What is that going to do? Uh, great liver steak. Yeah, let's just do that. We have four of them. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> yeah, just like that mission we did with the horses. So, the spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Hey, wait up! Whoa, whoa. Charles was doing a fantastic job keeping up with me just moments ago. I thought maybe... Arthur, you need to stay with me. <laughs> you need to stay with me. <laughs> All right, enter Trelawney's caravan. Oh, this must be what this is then here, because I think over there is the fence, whoa. so I guess this is where Trelawney's hanging out, huh? And it's like trailer park looking place. Campground looking. Go in there, Charles. Yep. Someone got here first. Uh oh. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Charles, you need to put that weapon up or else Dutch is going to be mad at us. Gone. Shit. This don't look so good. Whoa. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. Here's a note right here. Oh, a clue. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. I don't make my bed, but whatever. <laughs> what does that say? Hold on, this is the certified something. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company Certificate. <laughs> That's the fake name that we give to the, uh, the, 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 the post office. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company. This is to certify that mm, mm, is the holder of mm, shares inclusive in the above company, subject to the provisions of the Memorandum of Articles of Association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares. Secretary, mm, mm, mm. you see anything there? Yep, it's a uh, Tacitus Kilgore like stock. Use Eagle Eye to search for clues. Yeah, I know. Put away. There you go. Mine share. Interesting. A clue, a clue. Oh yeah, there's like stuff like tipped over. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Slices of bread over here, yep. What else? Let's see your uh Can I search that? Oh, search, search the drawer, yes. What's in here? Open snake oil. Can't take it. Okay, whatever. What about this one here? 
Like, this is glowing, but I can't do anything. That's ah, probably pomade or something. What about over here? That's glowing. Let's see if we can find anything in this desk. First person definitely makes more sense. Cigar in there, and that's it. That thing's not glowing. Uh, oh, 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 yep. Wait, hold on. Is that glowing because of Charles? Something about the bathtub, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Hold on. God, man, Charles is in the way. Is it the bathtub? Oh, yeah, there's blood. Hold on. Yeah, there's a bloody rag there. Big I... struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Come on. Tracks? I don't see anything. Oh, jeez, I'm messing everything up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, girl. Well, that first person didn't really work out too well. They went down the path. Yeah, track the eagle eye. Focus on the track. Oh, sheesh, come on. Come on, focus on the track. Focus on the track. Why can't I, I don't know why I can't focus. Okay, well. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Here we go, here we go. Can I track? There we go. Lead the way, then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Mm -hmm. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. <laughs> I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest. What was that? That's them. Oh, horse bonding three. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Ooh. Yeah, it goes right to them. Yep. And it goes right to that horse right there on the right. Let's see what he has hey, to say. Hey. Get back on your horse. What the? I have to talk to this guy, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yep. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! Oh. Man! I oh, missed. <laughs> Man, you knocked my top hat off. Struggling with the stranger. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice hit right there. Nice. Whoa, struggling with him. Man, got him right in the eye, too. He's got a black eye already. <laughs> Fantastic hit over here. Get him, Charles. Get him. Man. I'm trying to remember which. Oh, whoa. Oh, nice. Go help out, Charles. Oh, no. He got him. He got him. You stay there. Interrogate him. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. You sure? I don't want to accidentally kill this guy again. Like I did on, like, episode one. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! Okay, you didn't kill him, that's good. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Oop. Beat him and then release him. There you go. Let me see you again, you hear me? Whoa! You got lucky there, my friend. Yep, that guy got up quick. Loot that. Whoa, whoa, fantastic money. Well, then again, these guys did kidnap. Uh, let me let me loot this guy's uh, horse satchel thing. Saddlebag. Saddlebag, that's what it's called, by the way. <laughs> oh, you dumb horse. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Let me search that saddlebag. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I got fantastic money just there anyway, so hey, I'm not going to complain about that guy. He is knocked out. I don't think he's dead, so that's good. All right, well, we gotta go near Braithwaite Manor to the the cornfields and the log cabin or something. So let's go all the way. Uh, where would that be from here? Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. That's good. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. I think that's the entrance right there. Yep, yep, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the path. You okay? I'm good. 
What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. <laughs> he don't know how not to talk. <laughs> he don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. All right, we're going around Braithwaite Manor, Trelawney. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you can tell us information about these uh, bounty hunters that'll get us good money. I'm like that guy we just got, or knocked out and looted. I assume he was a bounty hunter because he had fantastic money, a platinum wedding ring or something like that as well. Really, really good money. All right, here's fields. I don't, I don't know if there's corn anywhere. Looks like wheat to the right. I don't know if that is to the left. 